Hey guys, Jason here. Um, so, still no wind. Can't show you this working. Um, we got some storms coming in. It's going to be dropping back from the 80s down to the 60s. So, uh, hopefully I can catch it working with a, a, you know, hooked up to a little Chinese turbine. If not, then I'm just going to go ahead and use my little Missouri Wind and Solar 500 watt uh, right here and uh, use a drill on it and show you how this works explain it better um, but anyway that's a different thing um, I was going to put the source code of how to program those yourself on the internet those, and turn it into a uh, semi dump load controller for your wind turbines kind of like that um, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think those are safe. Um, the, the microprocessors in those are slow. They don't react to uh, fast changing winds. Um, you know, they'll go up to like 15 volts or, or more before it actually hits the dump load. So uh, I'm not going to show you how I reprogram those and turn them into a dump load controller. Um, I don't want to be liable for someone blowing up a battery or something. Um, but if you do want an inexpensive dump load controller, I can build you one. I, and uh, I'll show you how to, or I, I might even just show you how to build your own. Um, I don't know. The expensive part on these ones is that relay. That relay is about $30. So this one is a real wind turbine charge controller, or dump load controller. So, and you can adjust it. So, but yeah, that that relay is about thirty bucks. I might be able to find one that's uh, similar. Might not be as good. Um, so, and if I do, I'll show you how to where to get it and stuff. But uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm I'm going to build an uh, inexpensive one. I want to try to keep it around fifty bucks for the whole thing. So that includes the relay and the, the, that and that's what I'm going to try to figure out for you guys because I know um, this wind and solar power stuff is a lot of money um, and uh, it's like you know you could buy the stuff that's really nice and works and uh, you know uh, you have to pay a lot of money for that stuff or I'm going to try to figure out a way to, to bring the cost down because if I build them myself I can bring the cost down and then I might be able to show other people how to do it themselves too and bring the cost down so that they can because I want people to be able to get into wind and solar um, but what I found out is that that little microprocessor inside that solar charge controller it's made for solar it's not made for wind so it's not very fast microprocessor. It's like so. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, I don't like that. So it doesn't seem to work very well. Uh, from my experimenting, I don't know. Um, maybe other people might have different results, but I was going to show my source, uh, our source code that we found to how when we reprogrammed it to try it and test it I was going to put that on the internet but I'm not going to um, I don't want people to be uh, you know I don't want to be liable for other people using that and then not being happy so with it because yeah it's slow it's got a slow little microprocessor works great for solar but not for wind wind changes too much it's too fast uh, the voltages change too fast from my experience so that's just my opinions you guys anyway um, but yeah I'm gonna I'll, I'll build uh, uh, something similar to that one and I'll try to cut the cost down to about 50 bucks and uh, I'll try to show you guys how to do that too um, sometime this summer as soon as I can I'm working 10 hour days it's getting crazy I might have to work weekends or at least Saturdays 
from now on or I don't know it's just getting nuts our company is insane anyway um so I'll talk to you guys later um thanks for watching bye bye